It's super excited to have you here tonight. We're focusing on Croatia, a place that I dearly love and have been very privileged to spend several weeks uh, visiting and getting to know, uh, spend some time on uh, the gorgeous Cortula Island and with some dear friends on the mainland. But we do need to get Davor on because even though I drink and I know things, a quote from the Game of Thrones. Um, hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. How are you, hello. my friend? Hey. Hello. Uh, for you, good afternoon. For me, a few hours, it will be good morning. But hopefully, you are all <laughs> well and well suited and sitting down and have a bottle of wine, Poship, Zlatan Poship, in front of you. So first, to introduction, because you have a privilege to, to sneak in our winery. This yes. is a finished wine, what is in your glass. Okay. This Cheers. is before fermentation. And this is a sediment, what we extract after the decantation. Yeah. Do you understand wow. me? So if somebody do not understand how the white uh, grape is made, uh, white wine is made, so the white grape goes in the press. After the press, you get the juice, what is not clean, as you see. So you remove with the cool, with the cool decantation all the bad stuff. Then the clean juice goes for the fermentation. And after the aging on the leaves uh, and everything, after filtration and aging in the bottle, it is in your glass. OK? So yeah. And, and, and y'all, they're in, they're in the middle of harvest. If, if you want to see the slopes that they're working on, we have oh. some, some imagery here. My goodness. Wow. That, that is a steep slope to harvest. So, unfortunately, here it's a night, so I cannot show you in a, on a camera, but I can show you if you can see these little lights yes. on the horizon. <laughs> these little lights are the fishing vessel because to now is a season of the anchovies and the sardines, what is delicious in this, type of, this time of year. I don't know if you can see it. You see these little lights? I, yes. Hopefully the, the iPhone... Uh, you see, and now they are uh, uh, they are glowing with the uh, lights, of course. I track the fish, and then in the dawn before the sunrise, they will uh, circle like them and catch it, catch them, or try to catch them because sometimes they can be very, very fast. <laughs> and and then we get to enjoy them in the wonderful restaurants, which I and enjoy. then then we will grill it <laughs> and drink this lovely wine for uh, for. Uh, for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, um, tell everybody if you, if you could just uh, talk about Poship a little bit. It's a, 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 an ancient varietal, um, not found elsewhere. Just quickly tell everybody a little bit about this grape. Poship as a sortiment, as a Vitis vinifera, is coming originally from the island of Cortula. Unfortunately, I cannot show you because it's dark. There is a lighthouse. <laughs> I stayed. Sorry, I there stayed is a lighthouse. I stayed. There is a two lighthouse. What, there is a two lighthouse. What is uh, yeah. a, the, the point of the Corsula, But you cannot see it over the camera. It's not possible. So I, I stayed so, for ten it, days on Corsula. It is one of the most beautiful places on earth. It is really, really nice place to be, especially their southern little um, uh, 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 places by the ocean. They are lovely. They are. They are hidden. They are. It's a really, really special island. I like it a lot. I have lots of good friends and winemakers over there. It's, it's so, gorgeous. Originally, it's coming from Korčula. But how it gets popular now, you can find it on the Pejeshats, Hvar, uh, our vineyard in Makarska, Šibenik, and even to the Zadar in the north part of Dalmatia. It is a full body, uh, usually high alcohol. It is not problem for Poship if you are maintaining a vineyard proper way. Do not over, do not over yield it. It's not a problem to get even higher alcohol than we have than thirty and a half percent. It is a sort of what gives you a really really nice oily full yes. bodied white wine. It's a not easy drinkable approach. It is a full body. You have to pair with the serious meat, serious fish. Well, my friend, really, we have, really we nice have wine. One, we have one more picture that I need you to answer for. I need to know what's going on right here. Okay. Uh, it is um, what uh, <laughs> we would love to say, drink responsible. Yes. 
Um, I, I won't say that I had two bottles at a time, but I will say- I know, I, I know, I know, but the pic picture is very nice. Very push up, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you so very much for staying up so late to visit with us. Your wine is Don't fantastic. worry, my friend. And I see that you have a lovely crew because I never, I, I list a little bit and it is very, very special crew on, on, the, on another side of the Atlantic. So glad that I'm here. Well, we're glad to have you. Uh, have a great harvest and I can't wait to taste the results. Thank you. Uh, my wine. friend, enjoy, enjoy the wine, enjoy your tasting and talk to you some other time. Absolutely. Yeah. Cheers. Be well, my friend. Cheers. I, will I raise a glass you. to you. Yeah. To Good, you night. Too. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Uh, everybody, grab wine number two because we want to say hello to Gianna, another amazing, amazing uh, uh, winemaker, uh, wine family uh, from Croatia joining us. And this is, uh, you know, we've had Malvasia, I think this is the third time we've had it on the show, but I'm pretty sure this is the earliest place that Malvasia was planted from which we're going to be enjoying it. So if we have uh, Gianna, Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> Ilya, how are you, my friend? Thanks for having me. So, hey. Ilya, Ilya, <laughs> amazing wines. Ilya, and this is Jana. Yes, Jana. <laughs> Jana, Jana, thank correctly. you so much. I didn't get a Hi, chance guys. to speak with you before the show, so I'm so glad to see you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Your wine is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> and. Just wanted everyone to say hi and cheers as we get into this amazing wine and we'll come back and chat about it for a moment after the break. So everybody, glass number two. Bottle is here. Wine <laughs> number two. Yummy. And. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wine number two. Joining us from Croatia at now uh, two o'clock in the morning. Thank you so much. I know you guys are busy right now. Are you in harvest yet or are you about to move into harvest? So we're about to move into it in about 10 days. I've been <laughs> sampling grapes the whole morning with my <laughs> uh, so a colleague of mine. And yeah, 10 days, two weeks, hopefully. <laughs> so we still have time. Well, I thank you for giving us some of your time. I know it is uh, absolutely crazy. And yeah, well, it's it's still fine here. Maybe for our friends for the Poship, it's it is crazy because they already started. But here, it's it's still okay. We're calm <laughs> for a little bit more. <laughs> well, we're super happy that you're here. This wine is absolutely amazing, Malvasia. And uh, tell me, please, how do you pronounce Malvasia in Croatia? Mal. Malvasia. Malvasia. Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're making me feel fancy. <laughs> I can yeah, pronounce Malvasia in three <laughs> languages because it's the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And uh, we have a great image uh, that you sent us over of the uh -huh. vineyard there that I want to show everyone. And, and just tell us a little, about, a, a little bit about what you've got going on uh, about this grape and your family, uh, your production of these amazing wines and it by the way it is showing extremely well over here right now this bottle was fantastic thank you i mean i can agree the, the 2018 even the one the one that i'm trying right now is i really like it as opposed to the fresh one the 2019 it's much more structured so much much more let's say greasy and there's so much more of it yeah. so with the Malvasia Estriana is the main grape that we produce so it's about 80 percent of our production the rest is some other varieties but and everybody everybody make so, sure while 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 Jean is talking grab a chunk of cheese number one and taste it with this wine while she's telling us about her Malvasia yeah so for example, the, the vineyards that you're seeing in the picture here that Dan has put up. So you see the, um, this is by the way, in front of the winery, in front of the tasting room. And 
this is a new part of the winery. So we opened it in 2012. So it was eight years ago already. And before that, we had an older part. So the production of the wine started back in 1904. So we were basically producing wine for the family and for some friends and selling it. And then from that point on, from the, let's say the 90s, we started really selling the wine and making a business out of it. So this that you're seeing right here is the, so if in front of the tasting room and the vineyards on the left would be Malvasia. And then on the, let's say on the right, right in front of you would be the Sauvignon. And this, so this location is, is called Valle. And usually here it's a little bit cooler. So we usually, harvest to one to two weeks later than our other Malvasia in other locations. Aww. And this, this right here is my dad <laughs> inside this van. And it's, um, it's a little van that we, we had. Um, so we bought it and it was in a really bad, bad state. So we brought it to this mechanic and he repaired it. So we use, we use it for, the harvest or for little del deliveries. <laughs> it's cute. very cute. Cute, cute. It's very cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We need one of those for wine deliveries, Dan. <laughs> yeah. We need, we should buy an airplane <laughs> for wine deliveries. It will be better. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you think this grape or the Sauvignon is better with your oysters? Um, so definitely the Malvasia. Um, so we produce the Malvasia Istriana, which is the, the full name of the variety because it's, so it's very specific to the area. So in Croatia, uh, at least our winery, the Kozlic winery is located in Istria, which is in the Northern part of Croatia. It's very close to Italy. We're, we're about 40 minutes to the border with Italy. So it's very close. And the Malvasia Striana, we produce mainly fresh. So it, it will be a, the last harvest. Um, we also make an aged one in oak barrels. And except from that, it's, um, it's good that you mentioned the Sauvignon because we also make a blend of Malvasia and Sauvignon. Which I've had so, and it's fantastic. <laughs> Where it's did you so have it? Good. I had it in Croatia. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, nice. it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, um, I had it with uh, with Matt and Antigona. It was so. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm I may have had more than one bottle, um, but it was really That's good. Okay. I'm glad. <laughs> and, and apparently, I, I think this last slide that I had that you sent us uh, might might be what happens <laughs> when you have more than one bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or when you, you, or when you don't know how to more. drive the van through the winery properly, you wind up like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thorough cleaning. That's thorough cleaning. We do that in our pots, the big. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Well, it's so good to see you. Thank you for staying up super late. We're going to uh, go ahead and everybody, I thank want you, you to. Thank you for having me. I want, oh, thank you. And thank you for making such great wine. I can't wait to taste this year's thank harvest. Thank you. <laughs> And we're going to go with wine number three with our good friend Boris joining us from Croatia. Wow. And, uh, but grab a chunk of the cheese because I want you to have Husky Sear in your mouth when you enjoy this amazing wine. And it's so, so fresh in your memory. You had it with Malvasia. This cheese is going to be completely different with this amazing wine that Boris is going to tell us about. And I can't wait for everybody to taste it. I, this is a super exciting pairing for me because I love what happens in your mouth. Hey, so Boris. Boris. How are you, my friend? Thank you for joining us at 2 o'clock in the morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good day for, for, for everybody. You hear me? Yes. 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 Hello. <laughs> hello. Perfectly. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. I'm joining you tonight with, from uh, uh, King's Landings here in Croatia. 
outskirts of the King's Landings, near just near Dubrovnik, and uh, I'm with the, with, the, with the company in the Queen Sirzi's cellar, so we are dr drinking some of her and Jamie's uh, reserves. <laughs> Boris, I feel like you've been watching some Game of Thrones for a little while, but uh, yeah. tell us tell us about Plavats Mali, uh, this grape, which is really, really super special to me. Uh, one of the things I discovered when, uh, when I uh, learned about Croatian wines and uh, 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 one of the, the parents of Zinfandel that we all know in America and what is what I think this is a, a, a great connection uh, between our countries because Zinfandel is very much, as far as uh, you know, major wine grapes, is the American grape. But actually, it came then, from actually, Croatia. Actually, then, uh, just want to, uh, uh, to say it. Uh, the Zinfandel is the parent and the plasma is the son. So the Zinfandel actually comes from Croatia and was grown here in Croatia maybe a centuries ago. Yes. And the Plavac Mali today is uh, the, one of the most important red, red grape in Croatia. It grows about on the 80% of, of the grapes in, in southern part of, of Croatia and Dalmatia is is Plavac Mali. It grows on, on different, in different positions. Uh, if you grow Plavac Mali on, on, on the southern slopes uh, near the sea, you will get very strong, very heavy, very, you know, full, full body. Must, men's wine, men, 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 uh, wine, red wine, if you grow Plavac Mali on a little bit of the area that is uh, not, you know, so not I, have, so I, have a, I have a beautiful there. slide of one of your vineyards and I, I, how on earth do you actually harvest on uh, this we slope? Use, we use dragons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boris, I want to meet you. <laughs> oh, my friend. Come on, Boris. And, and these, these are really old vines and for those of you who know Zinfandel, the, the parent of Plavitz Mali, uh, these are these look very much to me like old, old, old Zinfandel vines, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, man, thank you so much for staying up so incredibly late with us. Thank you for making amazing wines. Um, I enjoyed them in Croatia. I enjoy them here, and I'm so glad that we could bring them to everybody. Ilya, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Awesome. And thank you for having the wines. We love Croatia. We love your wine. So do I. Absolutely. I love Croatia. <laughs>